Hi guys and welcome to today's video. I hope you're all really well. Um, today's video is a little bit different. I kind of want to keep my channel relevant to what's going on in my life and I hope you guys enjoy that. As much as I love doing beauty products, I kind of want to throw a few other things in there and since I am going on holiday and by the time this video is up, I should probably already be on holiday, I thought I would share with you a few of my travel tips and hacks. I know hack videos are quite popular at the moment and to be fair, I just realised that I kind of have a few things that I live by, like a few rules that I always stick to when I am packing. Um, but also over the next couple of weeks you'll get some outfit diaries, some holiday vlogs, all that sort of good stuff. But if you follow me on Snapchat you'll see that before everyone out, you'll see what I'm wearing and all that sort of stuff. So my Snapchat is a little obsessed if you're interested in following me. Now I do have a little mini list of my travel hacks, however I feel like I probably missed some so please let me know in the comments what are your travel hacks as well. My first one is to find the right suitcase for you. Um, Travelling varies so much on how long you're traveling for, like how much luggage you're taking with you, um, if you're going winter and summer, that sort of stuff is just, it just varies so much and I could probably do a different video for every type of holiday. For example, I'm going for four and a half weeks to Portugal in the summer. I have some baptisms and smarter occasions and then I plan to just sit on the beach for a long time so I have to plan for a variety of events. Therefore, my luggage is typically quite heavy and for me, I need a lightweight suitcase and I always take hand luggage as well. I love my hand luggage in particular because it's got a, it's got two compartments and I just, I just love it. I'm gonna leave the brand down below. Highly, highly recommend this suitcase. Um, I'm just looking at it. I really, really like it. I just found that it's actually made traveling with just hand luggage much, much easier as well. And to go with that, make sure your suitcase is easily found. If you're checking in your suitcase, um, like I will be, you want to be able to kind of, you want to be able to see your suitcase come out, pick it up and leave, and also ensure that no one else leaves with it um, and mistakes it for theirs. Therefore, pick a wacky color suitcase or what I like to do is I just tie a ribbon to the top so that as soon as I see there's a bright coloured ribbon on the on a black suitcase I know it's mine and hopefully everyone else will know it's not theirs and won't take my suitcase. With that, check what your airline allows you to take with you. I am flying TAP which is basically like the Portuguese version of British Airways and they allow you to take a hand luggage suitcase and check in a suitcase and I believe a handbag as well, but I kind of am a bit like iffy to tell you guys this in case you have problems and you're flying with tap. Um, but do your own research um, and find out. I'm going to be making the most out of my luggage allowance for sure, but um, you just don't want to be fined or anything like that. So it's so important to check beforehand. And to go with that, if you are checking in, or actually even your hand luggage, I'd recommend weighing it and finding out how much it weighs before you get to the airport because otherwise you're going to be fined or made to take items out of your suitcase if you don't have anywhere to put that. It's just an absolute nuisance. So definitely weigh your suitcase before you leave. There's like special weighing scales for suitcases. Now since I do have to take quite a lot of stuff on holiday with me, slash want to take, but I'm going to argue need to take quite a lot of stuff with me, I try to share as much as possible with whoever I'm travelling with. This time I'm travelling with my boyfriend. I don't think there's that much stuff we can share. And we're also going for a little bit longer than usual so we're going to need a lot of one item if that makes sense. Um, but if I were travelling with just him for a couple of days, I would definitely share his deodorant, a spray on one, really easy, I don't mind, I don't think they really smell too much, and I would share toothpaste, obviously take your own toothbrush, I would share shampoo and conditioner, probably shaving cream if I'm honest, um, I would just use his face one on my legs if I needed it, um, possibly like cleanser, he doesn't cleanse his face but if he did, cleanser, um, and then when I'm traveling with friends, we share like blow dryers, hair tongue, hair straightener. It just means you need to take one of each. There's no need to take three hair straighteners with you at all. Just plan a little bit in advance. Even stuff like your laptop and your camera. Unless you're like me and you love to have your laptop. If it's just to occasionally check Facebook, 
I'm sure you can do with one laptop or probably no laptop if I'm honest because if you're on holiday to relax just leave it behind if you can. Now again, if you're traveling for a shorter period of time, I would highly recommend planning outfits. For me and for this trip, it's just too hard, but if I was on a shorter two or three day trip, I would definitely, definitely plan my outfits. Just take pictures of them in the mirror and then whilst you're there, you're not faffing around, wondering what to wear with, what top to wear with those jeans. And you've also packed full outfits rather than a t-shirt with nothing to wear on the bottom with. Now we actually stay at my parents' house, we're quite fortunate with that um, and I know what I've got there. I don't take shampoo typically, I take maybe like a small one but I know I've already got shampoo there, I know I've got towels, I don't need to take that and if you're staying in a hotel I would highly recommend giving the hotel a call or just sending them an email and finding out what they provide. If you're in like a mildly nicer hotel they should be providing you with towels and towels are so heavy so don't pack them if you don't need them and they should be providing you with like blow dryers and even like mini shampoos and conditioners obviously if you're quite picky about what shampoo and conditioner you use definitely pack your own but towels and blow dryer in particular I wouldn't pack unless I actually needed to. The other thing I love to do is pack my liquids before I get to the airport. I don't want to faff about in my suitcase um, looking for all my hundreds of lip glosses that may have rolled around my suitcase. I like to put them in a Ziploc bag before I get to the airport. Sometimes I don't have the right type of Ziploc bag, um, so I'll just pack one up anyway, and then when I get to the airport, I'll change it over into a new bag, um, and it just makes everything so much easier. Then I'd highly recommend wearing your heaviest items on the flight. Now this kind of varies. If you're on a long haul flight, don't do this, you just wanna be comfortable. But I'm on like a four hour flight, so I don't think it's too long, so I'll be in jeans, a t-shirt, and my leather jacket, because my leather jacket is so heavy. If you've got chunkier trainers or sandals, wear those too, they take up less space in your suitcase, and they don't weigh as much, so you're less likely to get baggage fines, which are kind of, they're just, it's just something I fear. Also, I quite like to wear layers. The plane is always cold. Um, so I particularly like to take a scarf because I feel like I can keep myself warm in it and also use it as a pillow if I need to. And if it's winter, I'll carry on using it when I reach my destination. But if it's summer, I'll pack like a lighter scarf, still use it to keep warm, still use it as a pillow, but I'll also use it on the beach. Um, again, there's a pillow or sometimes to like cover my face if it's too sunny or even like as a sarong. Um, highly recommend taking a scarf. Again, if you're taking a hat, wear it on the plane. If you're taking lots of hats, I don't know what you should do. But if you're taking just one hat, wear that one hat on the plane. I always wear a hat on the plane. It's a bit of a faff. Um, I end up carrying it most of the time, but at least it doesn't get squashed in your luggage. I have taken numerous hats in my suitcase. They always get squashed no matter how well I think I pack them. Now, I don't have that many beauty travel tips. Um, your skin gets dehydrated on the plane, so maybe take some moisturiser with you. Um, I don't really faff about with that because I usually wear makeup on the plane, but that's your call. If you're on a long haul flight though, I would highly recommend doing that. And something I really, really recommend is if you're packing compacts, just put a little cotton pad in between the compact um, powder and the mirror, and it will save your products from smashing. I know I've smashed a couple of products whilst travelling, so I just like to put that in there and it just really helps keep it protected and not break. And again, if you're not traveling for a long period of time and you're not a blogger, because I feel like as a blogger I have to take the actual packaging to take pictures of whilst I'm on holiday. But if you're not a blogger and aren't going for too long, just put stuff in little tubs. It just is so much easier. Foundations, moisturizers, all that sort of stuff, transfer it into a little tub. You don't need a lot of foundation for three days. And you just definitely don't need to take a whole bottle. I've lost whole bottles. Um, whilst away and it was sad. I wish I had just taken a little bit of that foundation instead of taking the whole bottle. My three final tips, number one, if you're traveling with money on you, don't put it all in the same place. If you're taking, let's say 400 pounds, don't put all your 400 pounds in your suitcase or all, four, or all 400 pounds in your handbag. I like to put like 100 in my handbag, 100 in my purse, which is in my handbag, but if someone just steals my purse, they just take the 100 pounds. 100 pound in like an inside coat pocket, and then 
a hundred pounds I'll like give to my boyfriend if he's not taking any money with him or something like that just divide up your money don't keep it all in the same place because in case it drops or someone steals it it can happen touch what it doesn't happen to anyone but it is possible so just separate your money and don't carry it all in the same place um next one is travel with a canvas bag canvas bags have saved my life so many times um last year I had to check in my hand luggage because the flight was too full um, and I had my laptop in there and I would have had to have checked in my laptop otherwise but they were quite nice and they were like oh just take your laptop out and take your purse and your boarding card and your passport so I took that out and put it in a canvas bag I was allowed to take that with me it's just that my hand luggage was just a little bit bigger and didn't fit on the flight oh and then you can also use it while you're out there if you need to go shopping a lot of places have started charging for bags so just take it with you if you end up needing a bag to take to the beach or just anything they're so practical and they're lightweight so sometimes if I'm going on like a light if I'm going on like a long walk I'd rather take a canvas bag than a leather bag just because it's so much lighter than a leather bag and finally make your charges distinctive everyone that I travel with seems to have an iPhone and therefore everyone I seem to travel with has an iPhone charger so just make yours distinctive I have previously painted mine with nail polish and um, but more recently I just added a little bit of washi tape it makes it look mildly prettier and people aren't going to confuse it as theirs so that's always a plus so that's the end of this video i hope you enjoyed it um let me know if you did and i'll do some more trap i'll do some more like hack tip videos i really enjoyed making this one actually um like i said follow me on snapchat as i am away on holiday and i am so excited to go um but i shall see you all in my next video like this video if you enjoyed it bye